Feudal Baron King's Land. It is a colony builder. Uh, it is in Steam Fest demo form for this Steam Fest here. I don't know how long these, these dem demos will be about, be around. Some of them are around for a long time, some not so much. Um, this is a banished like uh, builder. Looks pretty. Uh, and it is by Sim Farm uh, and Playway. So, and also, I've signed up for the playtests. I didn't get in. I don't know what that, what that means or if it's just the demo. But we're going to go and see if we can make ourselves a colony. I have, um, I've dabbled a bit with some colony building, so we'll see how this one does. I'm not sure what this fellow here with the beard's doing on my screen. But I don't like the way he's looking at me. <clears throat> All right, chapter one. We've inherited land from dad. Thanks, dad. So uh, this guy is my advisor. He's going to tell me some things about what's going on. My dad's dead. This is my land now. Um, he's saying, hey, do you want a tutorial? No, thanks. I already played it. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we got some commoners that have set up a village here. Our job is to go and build a town. Basically, that's really all there is to it. Um, so we got a few folks hanging around a little stockade here, doing no work at all. And I think this is just like a ruin over here. Yeah. Um, so let's get started on, on some of these things over here. So let's go put in a uh, workshop and get started here. Hey, buddy, I said no tutorial. Get out of here. Pop this guy in like right over here. And that's, that's its, its area of reach, basically. Old Jack Collins is going to go over there and, and do some building. We need some, some tools and some wood and some rocks. And he'll whip that up real quick. We need a couple houses as well, so we'll throw those in. And we'll put them in like, um, oh, like right there. One, two. It wants, it wants two houses. I'm going to put in four houses. And I'll show them. And we'll put a road like right there. There we go. This is what, this has, um, one thing I really appreciate that's become a kind of a thing is the, the, the house, there's like different styles of houses, and so you're not getting just like the same house over and over again, kind of that, oh, I don't know, Cleopatra or, uh, Caesar kind of thing, you know, where you got, it's, every house is identical, and then they level up, of course, they change, but, you know, that seems to be, um, a lot of games have, have changed it to where we get a little variety now. That's kind of nice. I like that. Each person here, yeah, there's Isabel Scott. She works at the, she lives at the settler's camp. She's a villager. She's outside the walls. And she's 46 years old. She's unemployed. And she's going to the villager's house. And uh, this has a, you know, we can come in. This is about, well, I guess this is as close as we can get. I thought that was a, there's a, oh, yeah, we can go closer. There's a photo mode. Oh, yeah, whoever making this game, they know what we like. Yeah, she's really putting some putting her back into that one. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing his wearing his shiny uh, leather shirt today. Got some hay some hay in there. Yeah, scaffolding's going up. Spin this around a little bit. Okay, we'll let some houses build. Let's go ahead and f fast forward. I don't know how much de demo time we have with this one, but we'll fiddle with it for a little bit and see what we can what we can gather from from this one. But there we go. We got a we got a little house. All right. When I played with the the, uh, the tutorial thing, it basically is the same thing as this. So. So is my hands gonna be held no matter whether I like it or not? But yeah, here we go. Look, we got it. We have a a little bit different looking house here. These guys have a barn. These guys just have like an outhouse. This one seems to be similar. That one, the roof has changed a little bit. No, a little bit different. No, these are the same. Oh no, this is this has got wood walls. This has the like the uh, plaster. Neat. We're waiting for this guy to get built, and then we'll be. We're ready to move on. Uh, there's not, there's nothing in here at the moment. Things will get unlocked as we, as we build here. But we'll do the, you know, the things. We'll, we'll put in some farms and we'll put in some uh, micro market and all that kind of stuff. I think everything else is shown here. We got 25 people, 25 people in town. We can set them up by age, so kids, adults, and old people, um, all the workers, and there's a lot of options in here. There's happiness. There's me monies. Uh, I can add anything in here that I want to keep an eye on, which is kind of nice. It's like uh, maybe keep an eye on the grain or whatever, um, the grain and the uh, and the meat sticks. Oh, there's my speed up there. It is 
Is it May 3rd or March 5th? Who knows? 1200. Hey, T-Kitty, you're here early. I mean, our workshop is almost done by Evie. Evie? Lawrence. There it is. All right. You get out of here. Okay, so now we got a workshop in here, which will, which has a range and automatically repair things. I think this is sort of like a repair hut kind of thing, and it'll take care of all these places, make sure they don't fall apart. Um, we need to go make some farms. I want to put four farms down, so we'll pop in some farms over here. If we can find the farms. There they are. Farms are tiny, extra tiny in this game. So we'll set farmland. Oh, we'll pop it in over here. I think we have reach. Where's your reach at? There it is. I can increase or decrease your range, can I? No. no. Maybe later. But not right. Oh! Oh! Oh, why would I want to... Oh. I mean, I know why I would want to do that. It's interesting that it doesn't just... Yeah. You know, you get a little more range there. We'll put some farms over here. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's pop these farms in over this way. And we'll just set them over here beside this guy, I guess. It wants four of them. We'll do a few more than that. We'll put in six. Just because we're go-getters. Not sure why I can't put one right there. There it goes. Okay, so let's go get a row that connects that all up. And then when these get built, we'll set what kind of farms they are. Um, Sorry to hear that, T-Kitty. Get feeling better. Uh, I might have, yeah. I, I, let's, let's take a look. How many materials do I have? I got 100, no, I got plenty. 190 woods and 111 tools. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey, Ice Melon, how are you? Well, we'll get to work on that. And then <clears throat> once that gets built, we will place in what kind of farm, what kind of field it is. Whether it holds chickens or holds goats or whatever. Or, or grain. Again, really tiny though, super tiny. One of these days I'll play a game. I've played, a, I guess I've played a couple. I guess maybe Ostrov is probably the closest one I've had where it, it, the closest as in, there's we can check, we can change like grains and, car and carrots and animals and all that. Where, um, like you're actually, you're actually using, you actually need as much farmland as, as what it's showing you. Um, or, or, a, a little bit more realistic amount of farming is what I'm trying to say. Um, or, or, sorry. Um, I think just crashed over here. Hang on. I think I think the stream is fine, but my my Twitch monitor thing just crashed on me. Okay. So they got some grain. They want, they want grain and and cow fields. Um, the um. Was it, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Oster does a pretty good job, and Farthest Frontier does a decent job. It's an okay job of, like, having a lot of farms, you know, to manage to manage the size of towns you usually have. Problem is, you never know what you're getting into. You never know, do I need to have farms like this size, or do I need to have farms three times the size of my town? You never know. Anyway, let's go get ourselves a, uh, a market stall and a dugout and a... Um, Another, vill another villager's house? I guess so. So, market stall is going to be... Where's that one at? Here? There's the dugout, which stores our food, which probably you should put over this way. We'll stick it, like, right... No, you know what? We'll put it right... Here. Yeah. Like that. I think that... Does that work? That just, that just stores food, right? The market's the one that actually gives it to people. So that'll just store the food from the farms. And then the market will go... And we can park this guy... Right here. I'm gonna get our road here. I'm gonna go with something like that and like that, and a little something like that, just just for some style points. Yeah, dugout stores the batters. Yeah. I think that's that's storage. You're yelling at me about storage there. So market stall, and it says construct another village house. I made four when I was supposed to make two, so I guess maybe I shouldn't jump ahead too far. We'll make one more. Oh, it didn't fit in there, does it? Okay. 
and we'll put it right there. Okay, there, yeah, yeah, there's the roundabout uh, emote. Excellent. Got some jaunty tunes, doesn't it? Uh, this one over here, so we get we got other things we can do. We can do carrots. We can do we got we did so the, the tutorial wants me to do two cow farms, two grain farms, but we got a couple extras here, so we can do like pigs, which gives us meat sticks and leather, um, sheep's. <laughs> I, I was I said sheep's as a joke, but it actually does say sheep's. Uh, give us wool. Uh, we got chickens and we got and we got bees for some honey. So we're gonna get some bees in there. And this one over here, we'll put in some carrots. Okay, get to farming. Uh, I'd like this to be like a priority. Can we prioritize this one? Notifications, that's all we can do there. I think the fields are coming in. I suppose they're, they're, I suppose they'll make their way over here. Do we have any wood left? Yeah, we got 110, we need how much for this thing? 50? Yeah, we got plenty. So maybe someone will get to work here in a second. Here we go. Market's going to get done here in a second. <clears throat> yeah, when I, when I click off the screen, I missed that. Sorry. When I make, click off the screen, it pauses. Lots of stuff coming in. I'm assuming it's going to get come over here. This it doesn't tell me what that symbol is, but it's got to be storage. We can change the name Villager's House 3. We can call it we can call it um Peon Hovel. Number one. There you go. Whoa, work. Market is nearly done. I wonder what we um oh you know what? This might be out of range of oh it is, isn't it? So I wonder if that's why they're not doing it immediately. Let's expand that. Like that? And this as well. Yeah, okay, interesting. Emergency granary. <laughs> well, this one over here. Speaking of granary. So I went to the store today to pick up some spinach. And when I go when I go to check out to buy my spinach, the the girl at the checkout counter, she asks, starts asking me all these questions about spinach. Like, do you like it fresh or frozen? Uh, have you ever had canned spinach? What do you think about Popeye? Uh, you know, all she's like doesn't stop. She's just yammering on and on and on. Do you know spinach is healthier than lettuce? You ever eaten spinach that made your poop turn green? All these dumb questions, and I was, it just went on nonstop. And I was like, I didn't expect this interrogation she looks at me and she says no one expects the spinach inquisition <laughs> took a lot of build up for that one I think it was worth it Still have cashier checkouts in Oklahoma? Well, yeah. What do you live in the future? <laughs> <clears throat> there's like, uh, there's usually one. I avoid those. I don't want people talking about spinach. Success. Market stall complete. Yeah, let's see it. Let's go into camera mode and take a look at it. Zoom in, zoom in. There we go. Yeah. People sitting on bags of flour. Bread just sitting out there in the in on the stall. Yeah. Uh yeah, I um I'm trying to I'm trying to think if there's any stores that... I don't think we have any stores that are only self-checkout. Like, like Walmart is all self-checkout, except there's... Actually, no, you know, now that you say that, I, don't, I think Walmart does have 
um, doesn't have anyone. They've got like the big area, like with a bunch of self checkout, but there's one person sort of standing around. I don't think they actually don't think they have any anymore that are cashier spots. I like to say that. Um, Aldi has self checkout, but they've got like one person. They have one self. We have one checkout lane. The rest is self checkout. Um. I was in Sprouts. I was in Sprouts the other day, and um, they don't have any self-checkout. They have, they have people. The Sprouts, Sprouts is is all over the U.S. at least, aren't they? That's right. Hey, Harley, how's it going? Oh yeah, I don't know where you go. Where do you buy your tobacco if if you don't if it's only self checkout? Can you just buy? Can you just buy it on your own? Surely not. I get people all riled up. Buying tobacco without someone's red, like ringing it up for you? Outrageous. That wouldn't happen. Uh, villager's house almost done. Okay. So you you Mr. Dugout you hold yeah you hold that stuff. You have nothing right now. I'm assuming it's all... I don't know where it's actually going. Is it going in here? Like, all that food that we just brought out, where did it go? Did we just harvest it and just, like, <laughs> throw it into the fields because we didn't have a spot to put it? What do we do with this? Give it to the bugs. Now, why are you saying that? And no collected goods because you haven't been to the market yet. But you go to the market. It looks like there's some things at the market, though. Hey, market, how's it going? <laughs> Peasants would like to heat their homes. You'll get firewood as a byproduct of tree cutting. Build a lumberjack, lumberjack hut. All right, it's about time I got to lumberjack hut. That's normally step number one. Let's go. Uh, let's go lumber some jacks. I suppose we'll put him where the trees are. Oh, we got like a mountain. I think I've done. Oh, look at that. Wow, I think we'll be like expanding all this this area here. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Ooh, there's mountains over there. Uh, let's go over here. How about like right there? That's so the magic hut. <clears throat> we'll put a sawmill in somewhere around here. Do I need to expand this guy to cover to cover this as well? I missed the tooltip on that. He's got a thousand range. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it because I think that they need that to go build, and then we'll get ourselves a sawmill. So maybe it's like a it's like a maybe this is how we keep. Oh, this, I know what that might be. Maybe this is a way of keeping um, people that live in this town in this area and, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there's a harvest, so we'll get some people in the market so people can not starve anymore. Uh, let's get a sawmill now. But anyway, so that this this part of the... This is this town, and maybe we'll have mul multiple towns or multiple regions or whatever. People are complaining about a little bit of food over here. I wonder if anyone's selling maps in that, in that uh, market over there. Still in your joke, six. They want food. Well, they can just walk here, and, and that would solve all their problems. Assuming this has some food. Yeah, yeah, okay, some food's coming in now. Good. There goes. There goes Lumberjack. Okay. A bit of uh, blinky weirdness going on back there. You working on that now? All right. I probably shouldn't jump. Shouldn't jump too far ahead. This is gonna give me. Oh, we have one old person. Happiness is down to sixty-nine percent. Can you tell me, like, why? What the deal is? Probably because people don't have firewood. <clears throat> but there goes, there goes Miss, Mr. and Mrs. There goes Mrs. Firechopper. 
Maybe we'll walk that. Um, ooh, slow timber. The earth just gobbled it up. Okay, that'll get us some boards. Um, I'm assuming he just, this guy... Do you mix? Do you make the the wood, or do you make the wood? Figure it out. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you do? Do you? Uh, it says trees are being cut down. I wonder if there's a. So no, another thing is is unlocked. So there might be like a forest or something in here later on. But I haven't got any of these things. It's not telling me to build. Oh yeah, there it is. Stock on. Now, is it okay that it's not like quite, quite covering everything? I guess I can like set it here. I think I want it to be at least in market range though. Maybe we can expand this. The emergency granary needs more, more, um, more heating. That should be happening pretty soon here. That stuff. You don't have a place to put your stuff, which is what that's yelling about. And hopefully, if we can't expand the range on this, we'll have to figure out how to move it. To make sure that the, the firewood gets put in there. Okay, you're working. Okay, so you're taking wood and making... Can I change you over to... Yeah, firewood. There we go. And that'll all go in here. That'll work. Yeah, I'm making money. I guess I'm getting taxes off these guys. I think... Uh, show me... A, so, in the demo... Let me see if I can find it here. Um... This is my ledger. Yeah, here we go. So, um, I am paying money to the lord or the king as well. Um, there's my, what's my stuff in my warehouse? There's my citizen stats. No diseases. There's my numbers I was looking at before. Looking for. Um, trade routes, huh? Oh, look at that. There's John's Harbor over there. In great time. We can do some trading. This is very Ostrov-like. Okay, now we got stuff in the warehouse. Okay, it's working now. Uh, so with with our money, we've got that we got a lot of cash, but our money goes. So we collect taxes, and then we have there's our tribute to the king, right there. So we have to pay the king as well. And you're gonna hold uh, firewood, right? I could modify your range. I I will. Just make sure this is like in there. And I want to make sure this is in there. Maybe, maybe this guy as well. I'm not sure that's important, but again, like not holding anything that would that would need. But just make sure it's in there. Okay, two more houses with firewood, and then we'll be set. And do you see any baby trees? There's a couple here, but I don't know if they were they were here before. What's this all about? What does that mean? Hammer and something. Not sure. Maybe, maybe it's empty now? Get that firewood delivered. Everything else done? Yeah, just get the firewood delivered. Which I think he just, just did. Ooh, look at that happiness. 97%. Missing firewood. Hey, you got firewood? You got firewood. Oh, at least one firewood. Okay. All 
Arthur, can you go get some more firewood? Arthur's unemployed. You know, Arthur, you can just go walk over there and get it yourself. Arthur's gonna get any firewood. I think Arthur is. Oh, okay. There's only three in in the sawmill. People are using it. And there it goes. Are they buying it? Is that what's happening? It's coming. So it goes over here. You think so? This is collected goods. I don't see anything that shows like uh, any kind of money that he has. He's happy. I'll kick Darcy out and I'll put Darcy. I'm kicking you out and I'm putting what was his name? Ar Arthur. <clears throat> no place for the sick villagers, villagers to get treatment. Build an herbalist and assist them. If you run out of low on wood, temporarily hot halt position uh, production on them. Okay, so build a herbalist. What is that under? Here? Herbalist. Do you need to be like... Oh, you just need to be near people. Okay. Um... I can't quite reach... I'm assuming I need to reach that? That's kind of like a place for people to live. I could put it here. That works. Seems like space is going to be... Uh, um, or like the low, like how you plan your things out is going to be pretty important here. They got no herbalists, so they're complaining about it now. They're like, hey, did you hear there's this new thing called an herbalist? Well, I want an herbalist. I hate my life because I don't have an herbalist now. I didn't know I had, what an herbalist was five minutes ago, but now I do. I hate everything. That's the mood of my people, by the way. I'm not sure why that is, is floating over that, uh, over that, because you do have a place to put your stuff. You can put it right there. Arthur Lee can handle that for you. That's his job now. Does Freddy have glasses? A uh, hydrate. No. Right. What kind of dystopian pass is this where the peasants expect health care? <laughs> okay. Uh, make a choice. Herbalist is asking for a donation of a thousand gold coins to help the needy. Would you like to donate? What? Oh, man. Happiness, 5% for 90 days. Don't work on the satisfaction of the settlements. Uh, apart from food, best to provide them with the simplest clothes, build a tailor, and start raising some sheep. Okay, so let's get a all kinds of things here. So we'll produce some wheel, some wool. I'll make, I'll just make a farm. Wherever a farm is from. Where's farm at? Production. And we'll get a, we'll get some sheeps in here. And then we'll get ourselves a... I don't need another, do I need another warehouse? You can hold wool. I don't need two wool houses. Why? That just seems silly. There's my tailor. I suppose if we can have a second warehouse. I guess we'll put it over here. Um, like We'll like set up a, a thing over here. Just do that, I guess. That is the wool warehouse. Um, can I build this? Any reason to build this? It's just a ruin. Does it pay taxes? Okay, I want you to be a uh, sheep. 
And you can be sheep. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is probably out of our range, but it's... Yeah, it's out of our range. So let's expand that just a little bit. I guess I don't actually need to go... It's there now. Okay, wool uh, produced. That was easy. Yeah, I've been, walk I've been walking around in my town naked for like months. And now you think you want clothes? Man, first you want Tylenol. Now you want pants. These people. Let's do like a little, uh, a little road action here. Something like that. And then let's go, let's connect up like right here. There we go. Hope they appreciate that. That was a lot of money. Um, do we have a, a thing that shows us like there's our, what is that? So we all villagers. Oh, we can, we can level up. Townsmen, aristocrat, clergy. Okay. That's sick. And that is just number of people we have. We have one that shows number of unemployed. No. Oh, there we go. Seven, seven available. Okay. Okay. I don't know that I care about how old people are. I care about more about who is available. Yeah, we're gonna all whine about clothes now. I'm not sure this is in range. They may have to walk an extra block to get their clothes. Oh, it did go away. What did they do to it? Did they tear it down for resources? Yeah, one day they're walking by and like, wait a minute. Everyone can see my bits. Okay, you, uh, Taylor, make that. Uh, did I put that in the warehouse? It wants to make another warehouse, so I guess I'll do it. Uh, which I'm going to put in... Over here. Like that. They're wearing they're out there wearing cotton like a bunch of peasants. I'm like, wait a minute, we could be wearing wool. Hey Burns, how's it going? I um I like to watch uh like travel videos and things. I've I've gotten out of this rabbit hole a long time ago, and so that's and now I'm, I'm been in that rabbit hole for a couple of years now. But anyway, anytime I go, I don't I don't peruse Facebook much. But anytime I peruse Facebook, um, I get ads and ads. That's all it is. It's just a, it's just a social media site of just ads, basically, which is why I don't spend much time there. But every time I'm there, I get so many ads of merino wool. Okay, there's wool T-shirts, wool underwear, wool shorts, wool jackets, and. They look real nice, but it's like like $80 for like a, a wool t-shirt. Like they don't stink. Like you can wear them when you go out. Like I'm, So the reason is travel. They're like travel clothing. And you can go and wear this shirt for days and days and days and it'll never stink. Um, but they're like real expensive. I don't know how I got sidetracked on that. Oh, the, the wool clothes. But anyway, that's, that's it. That's my, that's my story. Okay, you get you get done, Lucy. Um, you're making me some clothes. Yeah, and those will go in the warehouse, and then maybe someone will carry that stuff. It just has to. It may have to make it to the market, which I don't know if that will reach the market. 
Can I modify your range? I can modify your range. Well, why don't you go and grab some of that stuff? I'm not sure that's important. We'll do that. And then... Does this need to be in there? No. Let's go down the road and then grab this guy. There we go. Wool is amazing. I do crafts with wool fiber, spinning, and felting. The reviews aren't bad. <laughs> It's it's kind of it's it's enticing because um, I'm a I'm a light packer and so like if I'm gonna go on a trip I, everything goes in one bag I'm not I, I can't I'm not I can't ever do I've always been a light packer it's such a it's such a if anyone that is a light packer um, I, I equate it to being a vegan I'm not a vegan but you know how vegans are like. Veganism is the best, and they want to tell you about it. Well, when you pack light, and you can pack it all into one bag, and you're walking through an airport, and you got one bag and all your stuff, and you see all these other schmucks walking around with bags and rolly suitcases and a, another bag on their back, and they're like sweating through the airport. Well, you wanna, you wanna, you look down on them, and you you think you are better than them because you're a light packer. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked again. But, um, it's enticing to, if I could only, instead of packing four shirts, I could pack two shirts and just wear the wool shirts back and forth. But, uh, I'm not paying $80 for a shirt that'll just fall apart in the wash because I'm not going to hand wash it, that's for sure. Because wool stuff, you got to be like, uh, you got to be like careful with it. Do you have a range as well? You do. So I'm going to have to expand your range. Well, let's do some of that and a little bit of that. And then, oh, that doesn't really count, does it? You need to go to the, you don't go, to, oh, you do go to the market. Okay, so the market should start selling these clothes now, now that it's in range. Yeah, okay. My mom used to say she could pack an elephant into a suitcase. Chumps with suitcases, that's right. They sell wool shirts on Amazon, but you know they're fast fashion Chinese made. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the ads that you get as well. But even the even the cheapo Chinese made ones are still like 50 bucks for a t-shirt. And it's like you can't put them in the wash. You got to wash them in the sink or something. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather have a smelly cotton shirt than And also, I've never been on vacation and worn a shirt for a second day or a third day and, and man, this shirt smells bad. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just don't smell and everyone else does, but. I can just do laundry. That's also, like, I can take my, my $75 that I have saved by not buying an $80 wool t-shirt and put it into quarters and go to the laundromat. Or wherever. Or just use the hotel, um, washing machine. <clears throat> well, speaking of wool clothes, we're starting to pack the uh, the houses with some. And so, I, do you need a warehouse? There's a warehouse right next to you. Why do you? Oh wait, wait. That's 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 different, isn't it? That's a warehouse. That's a stockpile. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm so lost on that. So you probably need to be over here and get this guy. Also, that's what's going on. I was so confused. It didn't work. Grab that. So you've all been warehoused. You're still not happy about it, though. You have, you have seems to be no place for your for your meds. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, if you bring seventy five quarters, seventy five dollars worth of quarters, you're gonna get a special screening. Back to uh, to pretty mode here. Ooh. Let's go look at that warehouse. Oh, they got shirts in the window. Look, there's that eighty dollars shirt right there. 
These people just don't know how good they have it. They got shirts in all three windows. There's my warehouse. Neat. It's a pretty game. I'm, um... Oh, it looks like some, some mining going on back there. Yep. I'm not sure if we'll get to the trade stuff on, um... Today. Like, on this demo. I've been oh, there we go. There's iron. So, for the development settlement, it's time to establish an iron ore mine and a quarry. So, let's go do some, some of that. I would like, um... Quarry. And we want an iron ore mine. Can I put you in a fence? They want roads. Okay. Mine some stuff. You're gonna need to go to, I'm assuming, a warehouse as well, so I have to expand this fella. Grab that, and can we just do like a road? Like just fight, follow the road. Save me some of my my space. Plus, we can like probably remove a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I'm on I'm on fast speed, but even on even on slow speed, they've got a. Uh, no, not too bad. This guy means business. Stomping through. You know why they're walking like that? Because they think they're better than you because they got their fancy wool shirts on. And she's marching her way through here. She's like, here I go. Delivering the cotton. Sorry, wool. Okay, these are... Are they being built? Are they in, Oh, I gotta be in range of this guy. I forgot. So this workshop needs to be back here also. That's... We'll just go down this way. Okay, so that... Yeah, there we go. So now that everything's... Everything's green. Super green. Stomp them with pride. <laughs> Next time you're sitting at the, um, at the, at the suitcase, whatever you call it, the turn thing, at the, when you get off your plane, and you're going to pick up your, your baggage claim, baggage claim, and you're sitting there claiming, looking for your suitcase, and you see someone walking by with just a backpack, and they give you a look, now you know what they're thinking. Let's go like super speed here and get this, get these mines built. I don't know what that that hammer tool means. I'm guessing it means it's empty because there's no one here. It's like there's, there's a oh it can be demolished. Oh hey here we go. Okay. Oh it's that's it's that tool right there. Oh look at that. I kind of like the look of it though. Praise on Tinty is what they're thinking. Exactly. Hundred percent happiness. I don't know what it does like give me a, a, a is there a notification Praise thing for this? No. I'm not sure what that's about. It's like they don't have storage. But they do have storage, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what they're crying about. Unless they want to go to the mark, the market. The market doesn't reach over there, but I don't know if that. I care about that? No. Huh. Oh. 
Um, the mines are getting made. Let me go ahead and put a couple houses in here. I might as well fill in this, this hole here with a couple houses. I don't have the tutorial thing for it, but... Jump ahead a little bit. This one. I've only got a thousand just to use. Oh, I don't have that back there. I don't think the road actually matters. We'll put that in there. So speaking of temples, um, I think I saw in here. What I was kind of hoping to see. Um... Influence with other cities, create trade routes for friendly cities, create, prepare weapons and fortifications for enemy attacks. Similar grows, they divide into social classes with different needs, failure to, you know, we've seen that before. That's, you know, as they grow up, we'll get that. Um, ooh, look at those walls. Those are massive. <laughs> those are huge. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Stone walls. This is going to get fancy. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. We're just like at the very, very beginning stages of this. Face the king's displeasure, fires, epidemics, and anger of your subjects. Not my subjects. They are so happy with their itchy shirts and their uh, pride. Yeah, I haven't had an option to build anything to prevent fires. I'm assuming we'll get a well eventually. What's this one? Some workshop. There's all the things. Well, they're just kind of slowly unlocking here. Warehouse. We think we built everything. Macquarie herbalist. Yeah. So, uh, do we think anything on here about about what you guys? Those what you require. But what you've got, you've got a lot more than what you require. You require milk and and grain. Cereal. Oh, have they actually eaten gruel? I think so. Milk and grain. I don't believe it. Even if we finally found a game where they're eating gruel and not like freaking out because they have grain without any without any flour or bread. Okay, quarry one's getting built. And is done. Okay, so bring in, we need 50 stone out of this thing. And... Looks like there goes the miners. There they go. He brought his, his hat to work today. 100,000 rocks in there. Now, see, it says storage. Maybe it just means it's full and it needs someone to come pick it up. Maybe that's what it's trying to say. And eventually it'll it'll make its way over here to the... Because it's making rocks. It'll make its way over, over here. Let me add that road right there. Like a lake over here. I wonder how big we actually end up getting. Because it looks like... I didn't see that before. I had like a grid I could see before. Maybe when we built something. Yeah, so we're all kind of stuck in this in this grid. I wonder if the king will let us buy other spots. Hey, yeah, definitely. Because we've got... There's like other mining spots over here. Kind of... And there's of course the road. Like, foundation-like. There's the edge. Hmm. What's wrong with you? No firewood, no clothes. What's with the slacking? Abigail. We have 400 clothes. Why, why don't we have any clothes over here? 
There's 80 in here. So yeah, they're just being... Oh, you know what? They might just... They might just... Maybe they work over here. Or actually, it should say... Traders and diggers. Yeah, so they probably work too far away to go to the market. So they had to, they had to get there. Okay. We'll get a bit more iron, and we'll have the next step. What zombie farmers talk about grains. <laughs> we only have three people now. Got another new house with some blue wood siding. I wonder where they got that color from. Are you not in range? You may not be in range of this guy. Oh, yeah, you are. Iron ore is worthless without proper processing. I need a bloomery. Okay. Range of both a range of both of those. I don't think it mattered too much. In fact, we could also adjust it with with this. So now, um, I'll go ahead and add in that and those, I guess. They can stock, stockpile them wherever they want. And you are in range of this guy? Yeah. That should get done pretty soon. We're running low on people, though. And I don't know if people just sort of show up. I haven't, well, I started with how many people? I think I've gained a few. I think I started with 25. So, yeah, I've gained, a, I've gained, a, I've gained three. I don't know if people are having babies or what's going on with it. Not a right warehouse or sites nearby for herbs. Oh, herbs go to here. Okay. They go to the dugout. Okay, so that that should fix that problem. Okay. That that should take care of that. Residence. Beggars. It's happiness. Everyone's healthy. Problems with that, but they should be fixed now. Uh, religion. So when I went on the theme page, I was going to look at religion. Um, I saw that mentioned somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it, but let's see if we can get to that part. That's a weird symbol. What are they doing to it? Maybe you need to adjust your range, maybe? Oh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, what's your problem, then? You're making firewood. I may not need any more firewood. How much do I have? I got 300 firewood. I could change production, but I kind of... I don't want to, like, turn it off and then forget about it and then, you know, have no firewood. How many planks do we have left? A hundred. Yeah, you know what? We'll leave it because I'm worried that I'm going to turn it off and then I'll forget what's just going on. I'll forget what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, this thing needs to get made. I'm not sure why it's not. No builders. I assign you, Charles. Also, why isn't this being built? Are we out of tools? No. We have wood. There we go. Aren't you bums working? Maybe they were going around doing some repairs. Which is actually off. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every game learned the importance of firewood from Banished. Okay. 
you uh, bloom her away. 50 iron. Up to... Oh, 37. We have gained a lot of people. Oh, oh, we said seven kids. Okay. And the house is now done. Do we have room for everybody? No one's living here, so I guess we do. A couple unemployed folks. A lot of unemployed folks. Good. Unemployed and happy. This will give us... Well, how much does it take? It takes ten of those things and makes five. So as soon as it gets loaded up. I wonder if I should have put it... I don't know which is a better place. I think the iron is getting stashed over here. Yeah. Well, actually, it's in both places. Maybe too bit of a, a bit much of a walk for him. You put those over there. Make sure they're in range of everybody. Do a road. We'll keep that road going there. Maybe people live over here. Things will get more done a little quicker. Maybe a second market since we're kind of building over on this side. We'll give it another minute. Well, if nothing happens, then we'll probably call it a day here. Um, we can come in step. This is advancing from settlement to village. We need a chapel, market stall, settlement, and granary. And we can get a village square. And then introducing Christianity gives us a chapel. Hmm. I seem to have a lot of stuff. I got 47,000 bucks. Nobody's diseased. Everyone's happy. No one's homeless. And there's what we can trade. So we can like buy tools or whatever. Buy clothes. Sell iron. No, we'll just mess with this one for a bit. I just want to get get a, a feel for it. I was hoping to see if we could if hoping to see if we could see um, some of the trade stuff. I'm not sure we'll get there though. What time is it? Oh yeah, we we'll probably should have this I've been playing this one a lot longer than I thought I had. Well, yeah, especially since this isn't isn't happening. We'll uh, we'll wrap it up. So there we go. There's a uh, feudal baron, feudal baron um, Kingsland. How do I quit? I will just hit the X to quit then. This one is in demo form for the next fest. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at look at that. It's got some... It looks really good. So when this one comes out, I'll have to come back to this one. No, look, they got them right next to them. That's, that looks like a good, good place for it. Let's check out those walls. And those... That thing. Yeah, I saw that in Monkey Island. Yeah, neat. 